and uh, just wanting to chat to you about bee season being here now and uh, since it's hit August in the southern hemisphere what ends up happening is that bees start reviving from their winter dearth they start uh, the queen starts laying more eggs every day now going forward as soon as this cold front's done and uh, there's a couple of things that we can do that will enhance and uh, you know kickstart this process for them you can start feeding your bees a bit of sugar water and uh, so, so that's going to be a one-to-one -one solution of sugar water it's a bit thinner uh, so that can get brood stimulation and get them into the laying action with the queen and helping them to lay more in the brood before maybe there's any an onset of, of actual uh, flowering in in august however if you are in the half health area then uh, what you want to do is you want to be able to find Alo, Alo Daviana. <clears throat> that's the powerhouse of pollen that flowers in this in this period in the next few weeks in the half health area of South Africa. And there's a bunch of blue gums that will be flowering as well this sort of time, but uh, not really in the half health area. So, um, but the best thing about it, guys, is that you can feed your bees uh, sugar water at the moment for the next week or two. It'll really boost the queen getting her laying extra, extra amounts of eggs every single day until she reaches a peak of around 1,800 to 2,000 eggs a day, which is phenomenal. Now, the reason why we want to do this, why do we want to do this? Well, we want our bees, you want our bees, you want your bees to be able to uh, take full advantage of, this, of the springtime flower, right, flowering. So, why we do this now is so that it takes bees, takes the queen from the time that she lays, it takes them about 18 days to get emerged. Uh, out of the out of their cells okay from the first day that they get laid <clears throat> and then it takes them a number of days to do orientation flights and then they become nurse bees first and they help cleaning and feeding the other eggs and larvae and so on and so forth and uh, and and building wax and so on and so forth and then what ends up happening is at about the age of about 28 days so we're talking basically a whole month here into September now already uh, only then do they become foraging bees, and that's when they start leaving the hive. So we want to be able to take advantage of prepping them before, uh, so you have to work your, your way ahead and plan backwards, okay? So that's the number one reason you want to be able to feed your bees right now and uh, take advantage of the situation, getting the bees into, into the mode of uh, laying eggs right now, okay? Because bee season is here. If you can get them onto the Allodaviana, that is the number one thing. It's a, a level four and level four on pollen and egg chain South Africa. It's the most potent indigenous and or, and anything, any plant of its kind in South Africa at the moment for the bees. And um, the only thing is that the, the girls get exceptionally aggressive on it, so I wouldn't I wouldn't inspect them too often on that. And if you do expect in, inspect them on on the Allodaviana, then uh, be sure to get a massive amount of aggression uh, coming your way no matter how much smoke or how how normally timid your bees are um, and also be a little bit aware of capensis as well another thing to just mention is that at this point in time a lot of the bees that were in the dearth period that maybe didn't do too well and even bees that did did very well and now wanting to take advantage of the coming spring they're going to split and trick okay so the bonus section in this in this video for you guys is how do you catch a trekking swarm in the local area near you? Well, first thing that you want to do is get catch boxes. So you can get those at beware.co.za. And then uh, once you've set those up, how do we do that, right? So what's the best way to set up a catch box? Well, ideally, research has shown that if you if you put up the higher the catch box is, the more higher quality trekking swarm you're going to catch. Okay, so I cover this in my online masterclass for in, for uh, an int as an introduction to beekeepers, and we also talk about it on our beekeeping courses, easy buzzing bee courses that we hold in Midrand. But essentially, this is a great bonus tip for you guys. The higher you place your catch boxes, generally speaking, the better the quality of colony that the trekking swarm that you'll catch. Right, so that's that's a real cool tip there, gold nugget. Reason being is that the smaller colonies travel lower, and uh, and and the the bigger quality, the bigger, higher quality colonies travel at a higher elevation. Okay, so what ends up happening is that they they will have scouts at a higher elevation, elevation than the ones that are small quantity colonies. So it's vital that you place your boxes <coughs> at least above uh, one and a half meters. Okay, above ground. 
Ideally, you want to have them where bees are already foraging so that you can catch any, any scouts that are already foraging, although it's a, being at the dearth period at the moment, whatever pollen and nectar is out there, there will be scouts on it right now because they are hungry, hungry as, as, as can be, okay? So place your, place your catch boxes above 1.5 meters. Then you want to use a lure. So the best lure to use that's available, uh, generally speaking, is lemongrass oil. You can if you have existing lure, uh, existing colonies, and you have old beeswax and old comb especially, you can melt that down in some turpentine or some olive oil even, and you can uh, paint that inside the box uh, once it's melted. And uh, the turpentine will evaporate, so you need that to cure for a day or two before you put it out in the field. And then uh, by the time that's, that's evaporated and all the olive oil set in, what ends up happening is it smells like home, guys. It's like having, it's like, it's like when your grandmother used to make uh, homemade breads and cookies and stuff like that. And you'd go over and visit with your, with your parents and you'd walk into the house and you'd be like, <gasps> instant salivation. And you're like, okay, I want that, I want that, that, um, <laughs> that food. I want that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, so those are the tips, right? Uh, feed your bees right now. Make sure that you've done. I uh, wouldn't open them unless you have a unless your cold front has moved past. But it is also a good idea to do maintenance in your harvest at the moment. And by maintenance, I mean you take out a couple of the frames in the brood chamber, where there's dark old comb and most likely going to be some if there's any left, some stores of honey. So uh, take those out, rip, take the comb off, cut it to the first wire, and use that extra beeswax that old comb to make your lure for the catch boxes that you're going to be putting up so awesome cy cyclical uh, system going on there okay you're not wasting any of the beeswax you're not having to use new beeswax necessarily but if you don't have any old comb like that then as i said uh, you can buy some beeswax from us beware.cdsa or you can ask a mate or you just use the lemongrass oil and paint it at the back of the hive or the back of the catch box rather place it up above 1.5 meters high and near or in near existing uh, what you call it um, uh, flowering sources where the bees are already foraging from okay and then it's a matter of a waiting game <clears throat> because the bees are going to be in the area they might split today they might split, split next week they might track next week or two weeks from now and uh, and if your boxes are out then the likelihood is that you can catch uh, trekking swarms this time of year it's the best time of year to actually catch trekking swarms is over the next month all right. So all the best, guys. Happy beekeeping, and we look forward to you on our on our uh, beekeeping courses and our Facebook page and and our YouTube channel. That is youtube.com/beware online. See you there, and happy bee season, guys. Let's go get them. Ciao.